In this video, I'm gonna share why it's so important to not let judgment stop you from public speaking and sharing your message with the world. Judgment is so destructive to us. So destructive to us. So destructive to us. Our judgment on ourselves, but also the judgment that we feel is coming from other people, which then stops us from not just public speaking and communicating, but from living out most of our dreams in life. We get so afraid of what people are going to think. So there's two core aspects that I want to cover to be able to unlock this and dispel the myth of judgment because it is nowhere near as scary as it seems. <laughs> One massive point that I want to share on this is that judgment is in our mind. If I think that someone's judging me for public speaking, I am imagining that they are thinking a certain thing in their mind and then that's boomerang back to me and I'm like, oh my God, I can't do this because you know I think they're judging me and this is what I think they're thinking. We never have any idea what is going on inside someone else's mind, but the fear of public speaking and the pressure it puts on us can feel so overwhelming that we can't actually think straight and we can't think clearly. And in this limited mindset, it's very easy to get caught up in an idea that we have that is so irrational and not based in actual fact because we are never gonna know what's going on inside someone else's mind unless we ask them and even then, are they being completely honest? So we can't let our perception of someone else's fear, which may or may not be true and is usually completely off base, stop us from doing what we truly want to do, sharing our message, bringing light, bringing joy, you know, delivering an important, you know, analytical or scientific data message, whatever it is that you want to share. Don't let what you believe to be someone else's judgment stop you because that entire cycle is false. It's a trap that we get caught in because when we're under pressure and we're speaking, we're in a completely different scenario and we fall victim to our own perceived fears and limitations. One of which is, oh my gosh, they're judging me. It's me against them. They're not gonna like me. For some reason, we go into this default mode of me versus them, whereas we're actually all in this together. The second point I wanna make is that if there is a judgment going on, generally in life, it's never about us. If someone's judging me, it's not about me at all. It's about their projection and their insecurities that they are projecting on me in the moment because there's stuff that is unresolved within them and it's easier to look outwards and judge someone else for doing something that we wish we were doing or we wish we could do differently or we would love to do than it is to actually look at ourselves and do the hard, serious work of going, oh, this is actually about me. It's so much easier to just go, I don't like that. I don't like that. That sucks. So. Two core aspects is number one, we never really know if someone else is judging us. It's a fear that we listen to, so don't listen to that fear. And number two is if you are judging someone or someone is judging you, it's actually never about the person that is being judged. It is about the judgee and the stuff that's going on in their world that they are projecting outwards. So share your message. Don't let judgment stop you. Don't let fear stop you because we need more bright lights on the planet.